welcome back to my channel and today I am back with a actually it's a dupe plate this is the exact plate of um, uber chic yay spring and this is actually you are you beautiful zero eight plate and I do have the whole collection of these plates and I'm actually like I did the creative shop not too long ago dupes um, I think with the BC plates, I'm going to do another, um, because I noticed people didn't enjoy that, you know, it's always good to save a few coins and get plates that look exactly like the expensive ones. And this is actually, these are dupes for the Uber chic plates. So yeah, it looks exactly alike. Sometimes the images are jogged a little bit, but I'm going to put up in the corner here how the, um, uber chic yay spring plate looks and i did get this off aliexpress i believe they're like five dollars have some tips here black and white two black three white and all i'm going to do is pick some of these images and yeah just uh do some cute images here and i'm just going to speed everything up put some music on sit back enjoy and as always, I will be back at the end just in case I just sped through something too quick. You didn't really get to see what I did. So I could talk about the plate, tell you how everything worked. Um, it's not super deep, the etching. But it does feel like it will pick up nicely. Plus, got my handy-dandy stamper, which I am going to do a video on about stampers and beginning on how to stamp what would be good to buy. So if you're interested in that, let me know because I definitely am going to do a video on that because there is a lot of beginners out there. Stamping is becoming more popular and um, there is always new people. So yeah, I'm just, I've already cleaned the plate and I'm just going to get to doing it and I'll be back at the end.
flesh now is hollow Now I'm a fool while you're breaking
Okay, guys, so I am back, and don't mind, I, um, I don't know if you can really see it, but I had messed up here thinking I always put a gel top coat on top of these, but I didn't this time, and I went to go wipe it off, and it started taking the polish off, so I had to put some white there, so it didn't have, like, a weird line. I put some dots there and double stamped the butterfly. I don't know. You probably can't tell where I drew the white back. Let me see. See, I don't know if you can see that line, like, right under the dots. I mean, this is just to show you anyway. Like I always say, it's not on my nails or anything. Let me see if I turn this off. Maybe you could even see it. Or see how you can see that, like, line right under there. So that's why I put the dots there. So if I did this again, those dots would probably be there. I was just trying to kind of fix it a little bit. But, um, yeah, I just did some grass with some flowers, and then the butterfly would be there. Like I said, I put the dots there because I made a goof. Here I made a goof, too. I stamped down that egg before it was dry. So I just put some gold dots on it. Eggs ain't supposed to be perfect anyway, Easter eggs, right? But, um, so that's how that came out. So, today I wasn't doing, and for some reason in the beginning, my hand was shaking a little bit. I don't know why there's nothing wrong. I just, my hand was shaky. And I turned this nail around because I didn't want the nails to go this way, but because the egg, you know, like here, it's skinnier going up. I kind of wanted it go in the shape of the egg. So, and then I just put hope in there because there's the word hope. And then I just dotted a little flower in there with my dotting tool. So, it came out pretty good though, I must say, with the dotting tool. And then, yeah, I just did the Easter bunny with the basket, which is some of these different eggs they had here and then I used some of my regular polishes to put just a couple daisies around it very spring like and then these I think are my favorite and I did do these all matte so I did he is risen with a cross and his crown there and then here I just did some uh, gold like lace spring detail. So I thought that was very pretty. Oh, you know what? I want to see this. I will be doing a review on all of these plates and like the, and I'll have like, I got to find the dupes of which ones they're dupes for. But, um,. Oh, look how nice that one came out. I almost want to stamp that on a nail. Let's find a little nail right here. Let's grab this pretty orange one. Or yellow, I should say. And it says, Happy Easter. Look how pretty that is. I just had to stamp that one because it said Happy Easter and it was so jet black and pretty and perfect and why not? <sighs> but I hope you guys like these nails um, and you like this plate. So if you've been wanting this plate, you just didn't want to spend 15 bucks. Well, here you go. $5 is a little better. I don't know if it has free shipping. I know a lot of things on AliExpress have free shipping. I'm, I don't know about these plates. But I do know if, like, you buy this from Lantern and Rent, it's $15. And then unless you spend, like, $59, I think it is, you don't get free shipping. I think the minimum is $4.99 for, like, standard shipping. Well, that's U.S. Um, I don't know about other countries. But, um, so yeah, if you just bought this plate with the standard shipping, it would be $20. So, yeah, $5, and even if you got to pay $1.99 for shipping, you're still coming out ahead. It's all the same images. It works good. All the images pick up. 
it made a really cute Manny. Um, and yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys liked this, uh, you guys liked this video in this, um, Manny I did with this plate. And if you do, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And hit the notification bell so you know when I make another video. And have a beautiful, blessed, and safe rest of your day, you guys. And, uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys come back real soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.